So what we usually do in almost every city we go to is try and find the Marketo Central. It's like the big market in every town. They always have the cheapest local authentic food. And if you're ner nervous about speaking Spanish or ordering, just always point to someone else's dish and say, ¿Cuánto cuesta? That's what I like to do. I like to know what other people eat. <laughs> It's like 5.30 at night and we're at the Mercado Central. Um, a lot of places are close. We only found one place open, but it was $3,000 for our meal. The money thing here is screwing us up. We we're finally getting used to numbers in Bolivia and Peru, but now everything's like thousands here, which is mil. And they talk in a different Spanish accent, so we don't know what they're saying. <laughs> Damn it, it's like starting over from square one again. So much fun. We said goodbye to our two really good friends from England, and now it's just us two again. So the one bad thing about traveling, making good friends, is all the goodbyes you do. It's the hardest part. Yeah, but we're deciding that we think we're gonna rent a car and drive down the coast for a night and sleep in the car and be cheap, cheap about it, but still have a lot of fun and see what the coast is like. Some campgrounds should be good. So we're gonna enjoy maybe one or two more nights here and head on the road. But for now, we're at the plaza. So we're in the Mercado Central, and one of the sides is all the fish that you can buy. So we just bought a little ceviche for $12.50. It's amazing. All the fish, it's just like, it looks like it just got picked out of the sea. It's like every day is Valentine's Day, you know, when you're traveling as a couple. Romantic views, dinner on the playa, oh, you know, the freeway right behind us. Got our $2 ceviche. Romance! 